Hi there. In this lesson, we're going to use the fundamental principle of counting to explain how we count the number of arrangements of uh, some objects. Now, uh, before you look at this lesson, you should make sure that you're familiar with the fundamental principle of counting. So if you're not, maybe you want to go back and look at the video lesson on that. So let's start with an example. So here is a very basic question about arrangements. Um, we're asked to count the number of arrangements of the letters A, B, and C. Now, first, let me explain what I mean by an arrangement. So an arrangement is basically a list of the letters. In this case, there's three of them. But there are a couple of important things you have to remember. First of all, the, the order matters. So if I write down the following arrangement of these three letters, um, C, A, B, that's not the same as the arrangement uh, C, B, A. So those things are different, right? They're different arrangements. Now, the second thing you want to remember about arrangements is that when we're talking about uh, basic arrangements, generally repetition is not allowed. Now, sometimes you'll see uh, problems where they, it specifically says that you can allow repetition, but that's not what we're talking about here. So when we're talking about arrangements in this lesson, we're talking about arrangements of letters where repetition is not allowed. So in this example, uh, we couldn't have an arrangement like A, A, B. That's not possible because we repeated one of the letters there. We repeated A. Okay, so we're asking how many arrangements of A, B, and C are there where the order matters and we can't repeat a letter. So let's see how to count this. Well, our basic device for counting here is the fundamental principle of counting. So let's see how to apply that in this situation. So what do we have? We have the letters A, B, and C. And now we want to arrange them in a list. So let me draw three boxes. So we can think of our arrangement as a way of putting the three letters into these three boxes. And uh, so the first box here, this is the first letter will go in here and then the second letter goes in here and then the third letter goes in here. So now let's see how to count the number of possibilities for each box. So when we come to the first box, how many possibilities do we have? Well, we can choose any of the three letters and put uh, put it in there. Okay, so we get three choices. So we make one of those choices and then we go to the second box. Well, once we've made a choice, now there are only two letters left. So what can go in here? Well, there are two choices for the letter in here. Okay, let's say, for example, that we put a C into the first box. Well, then we'd only have two choices left here. We'd have to choose either A or B because we can't repeat that letter. Remember, we're not allowed to repeat the C if a C goes in here. Okay, so let's say we've made our first two choices. Um, well, then there's only one letter left to go into the third box. So that means that there's only one choice here. Okay, so now you can see how fundamental principle of counting comes into it. We have successive choices and uh, we can count the number of possibilities for each of our successive choices. So we have three for the first one, two for the second one, and one for the third one. So the total number of possibilities is going to be what? Well, it's going to be three times two times one, which is six. So that's the number of arrangements of the three letters A, B, and C. Now, just to, to reinforce this a bit, let's write down all of the six arrangements of A, B, C. Well, we could uh, list them in a systematic way. We could start with all the arrangements that begin with A. So we have A, B, C, maybe A, C, B. Okay, so these, those are all the arrangements that begin with the letter A. What about the ones that begin with the letter B? So we have B, A, C, and B, C, A. And then the ones that begin with the letter C, well, we have C, A, B, and C, B, A. And that's it. Those are the six possible arrangements of three letters. Okay, let's try another example. 
So this is a slightly different type of question about arrangements. Here we're asking for the number of two-letter arrangements from the letters of the word maths. So now, how many letters do we have in total? Well, we have five letters, and they're all different in the word maths. But we're asking only for two-letter arrangements. We're not going to arrange all five letters. We're just going to choose two letters and arrange those. And we're looking for the total possible number of arrangements that we can get like that. Well, it's slightly different to the last problem, but we can solve it in the same way. So think of our arrangement as uh, two big boxes. So these are the two letters. And we just have to count the number of uh, choices for each box. So this box here represents the first letter. And uh, this one here uh, represents the second letter. OK, so how many choices can we make for the first letter of our arrangement? Well, there are no restrictions. So we have five letters to choose from, and any one of them can go into this box. So there are five choices here. But now we've used up a letter. And remember, the key thing about arrangements, uh, for basic arrangements, we cannot repeat a letter. So that means that we've used one up, so there are only four choices left for the second letter. So how many choices can we put into the second box? Well, four choices. OK, what's, what's next? Well, fundamental principle of counting kicks in now, and it says that the total number of possibilities, or the number of combined choices, is 5 times 4. So the total number of arrangements is going to be 5 times 4. And 5 times 4, of course, is just 20. So the answer here, the, to the number of two-letter arrangements that can be created from the letters of the word maths is 20. OK, so that's how we deal with counting basic arrangements. In a later lesson, we'll see how to generalize these ideas a little bit to get a nice formula for counting arrangements.